Guys, it's finally time for us to get out of the boat. Just as we heard this past weekend, Peter got out of the boat when he put his faith in the place of fear and he unlocked the power of Jesus to be at work within him. He got out of that boat and he realized something new about life. He realized that he was in a new phase of his life, that Jesus wanted to do something with him that was completely different. Jesus was training him all along to trust in him. You know, we are entering into a new phase of our life and we don't know what it's gonna hold. We're all going back to school. We're all getting out of the boat. We're getting out of our houses. We're getting out of, 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 of what we knew of this coronavirus pandemic. And now we're just stepping out, maybe into the unknown. But what I'm urging you to do and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my faith in Jesus in the place of my fear, of whatever the future holds, even the confusion, the unknown. I'm gonna put my faith in that place. I wanna unlock that power of Jesus so that he can be work in me at the St. John's Catholic Newman Center and our diocese, wherever he wants. We want his grace, his power to be made manifest in us. Well, this week, we have a whole list of awesome saints that, church, that the church is celebrating. And whenever we look at the saints, they're, they're an example to us, a witness to us. That's why we uphold their example. We wanna to look to them by the way that they live their life to see if we can gain some insight on how we should live ours. And most of them lived in a time of suffering, a time of persecution. They overcame those things by certain aspects of their life, putting faith in the place of fear so they can unlock the power of Jesus in their life. One of those that we celebrate today, his name is St. Lawrence. He was a deacon in the church. He was a deacon in the early church of Rome. And in the Roman times, we know that there were great persecutions in the very early times of the church. And in those persecutions, his persecutors gathered him up and all of his, his, his priests and, 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 and other deacons, other members of the church with him. And they were gonna be put to death in three days. And they said, actually, you're able to leave for three days, but you will come back. And in these three days, we want you to gather up all the treasures of the church, all the riches of the church, and you bring them back to us before we kill you. And Lawrence completely agreed. And he was not hiding from them. He was not running away. He was joyful to die in the name of Jesus, to give his life for Jesus who gave his life for him. So Lawrence, for three days, he went and he got all of the money that he had or all the access to, to any treasures that he had in the church. And he gave them all to the poor and the homeless around Rome. He gave it all away. And then he came back and they asked him after three days, where are the treasures of the church? Where, where, where's, where's all the riches? And he, he brought them all the poor. He brought them all of the sick. He brought them all of the homeless in the city of Rome. And he said, these are the treasures of the church. This is the richness of the church of Jesus Christ. When we have nothing, that's when we're made strong. And so upset they were that they actually put him on a gridiron and they started to burn him. They actually put him on a spit, almost like an animal, going round and round, being roasted on a fire. And as he was laying on one side, and this is maybe the insight that he gives us. He was laying on one side and he was completely burnt. And he said to his persecutors with great humor, keeping his joy, he said, I'm well done on this side. You can turn me over now. This guy, maybe his last words were a joke, but he was showing to them that he had the joy of our Lord in his heart and it wasn't going away. He kept that joy by keeping humor in his life. And maybe that's a witness to us, not to downplay what happened to him with all human dignity that is owed to every single human person. And especially to, to those who, who die professing the name of Jesus Christ. We don't make light of, of his death, but we do make, have, take witness of his death in the way that he went about it with such grace. It may be a witness to us that in the midst of our suffering, in the midst of our new phase of life, whatever that brings, that as we put our joy and our faith in the place of fear, knowing that the Lord is going to provide for us. What will we lack? Let's, let's remind ourselves to keep humor in our life. So many people are down, so many people are out. Maybe it's the humor that we can have that will be able to lift spirits, that will be able to show others what we're truly living for, that there's always more hope when you live with Jesus Christ. Today we relearn, let's put humor in the place of our fear. Let's join that humor to our faith so that we can be people of joy.